Hey guys, it's AJ. It's Wednesday. Sorry I didn't make a video for you guys last week, but I was out getting a tattoo. I got a I don't know if you could see that. It's a daffodil tattoo. It's um, It means unrequited love and uh, chivalry, which makes no sense because the two don't go hand in hand, but I like the idea, so I got the tattoo. Also, I saw Kate Nash twice last week, once on Wednesday. That's where I got my tattoo Wednesday, too. So it was a busy week, and I didn't have time to make a video. So I hope you forgive me because I'll give you great video right now. I always give good video. So this week's question was sent in by a baby beaver on how to gain confidence um, when co with coming out um, to their family and how not to censor themselves. You know, this is a really good question because I'm sure a lot of you guys have gone through this before. Sorry, my ha hat is... Well, look, I'm growing out my hair. I don't know why because I think that... I don't know. I'm too lazy to go get a haircut, but... Anyway, my hat is, is getting tighter on my head because I'm getting more hair, but that's totally off topic. Okay, so the baby beaver sent in a question on how to be more confident around her family or their family and not censor themselves. Um, this is a really great great question because when I came out to my mom, to my mom only, she took it upon herself to tell the entire family that I was gay. So that first year uh, after, well, after she told them, it was about Thanksgiving time. So I went down to San Diego and I'm driving and I'm like freaking out that my whole family knows I'm gay. What are they going to ask me? Like, oh my God, I just have to go in there and act like princess so nobody says anything. So I get home and I get to the door and I'm like, you know what? Fuck what they have to say. Own it. Like if they ask you any questions, and I'm telling you this too as your answer, if they ask you any questions or if they ask me any questions, don't be defensive. Just answer them honestly. Like be like, yes, I'm gay. I'm living in LA. I have a great job. I put my pants on one leg at a time. I wake up in the morning just like you do. Like life goes on. So I walked in and not one question about me being gay happened. So I really hyped it up in my head to freak myself out and like prepare myself for the worst and nothing even happened. Um, so as far as censoring yourself, around your family I wish that we didn't have to do this I wish that we didn't have to censor ourselves to, to like pacify our family and make them happy and like pretend like we're not gay so I really want to encourage you guys if you are gay and your family's not gonna freak out on you just to own it like be proud like you know if somebody makes a gay comment that they're in your family just don't respond don't even respond because that's what they want a reaction out of you that's why there's like the Westboro Baptist Church out there protesting they just want a reaction from us because they know they're doing the wrong thing so hopefully around your family um, you're not having to censor yourself too much I mean be gay. Put posters on your wall. I mean, if you're over 18, go to a GSA meeting. I, I can tell you what, the first time I went to a gay bar, I was so nervous not fitting in and I was so not confident. I was like a big pot of like melting mush. I was a wallflower the entire night. I just stood there like watching the girls dance, watching what they drank, looking at how they dressed because I wanted to fit in so bad and be confident when I walked in like I'm one badass bitch up in the shit. But... See, I don't even censor myself now, not even on YouTube, but that took time. And, you know, I, I finally found myself, like, I, I found myself wanting to cut my hair short. And as soon as I cut my hair, like, I was like, yeah, this is hot. And it wasn't, like, for a statement or anything, like, I didn't cut my hair because I was gay. Like, I felt more comfortable in, in my own my own self, in my own body, because I finally found um, where I could be comfortable, like, dressing like a boy and acting like a dude but I'm a chick dude kind of thing. Um, confidence will definitely come in time and I'm sure all five beavers plus Mary B can tell you the same thing like don't expect to like come out of the closet and be like super homo because it's it's probably not gonna happen it's gonna take some time but I want to encourage all of you don't censor yourself be proud of who you are, bisexual, pansexual, straight, whatever. Don't censor yourself at all. Um, it, you know, express yourself. Let it be known that you're gay and happy. Go to GSA. Start a GSA. I talk about GSAs a lot. I'm sure there'll be questions on what it is. Feel free to tell each other um, what it stands for. Or, you know, go to your gay and lesbian center. There's websites where you can network and meet people. But your confidence will definitely come. Um, your family's probably bringing you down a lot. And I'm really sorry that you can't be out and proud and you have to censor yourself. But, you know, in time, they're either going to accept it or they're not. And that's something that you're going to have to decide, like... You know, do I need, you don't, you don't need to make your family happy and, and you need to decide, you know, maybe you're young and it's, you're not the time for you to turn your back on your family. I guess that's not what I'm trying to say. Don't ever turn your back on your family, but you know, you need to stick up for yourself and be like, this is how it's going to be. And you can either accept me or you don't have to, but this is how I'm going to live my life. 
So I hope that made sense. And, I, and I'm not saying to turn your back on your family. Please, you guys, never. But uh, yeah, so the confidence thing will come in time. But please, we don't need to censor ourselves. It's 2010. I mean, let's speak out loud and just be ourselves. Um, and I mean, for example, when I started making YouTube videos, I was so scared. But now I like, get up out of bed and make a YouTube video in my pajamas for you guys. So confidence definitely comes in time and, and you will find it within yourself. I guarantee it. It will just trickle down like a little waterfall of confidence all over your body. But other than that, I'm going to go. And please, if you don't know who Kate Nash is, look her up. She's freaking amazing. And I'll see you guys next Wednesday, I promise, with my long flowing locks for you guys. I think this hair growing thing is awesome. And Jess wants 20,000 subscribers by January 1st, 2010. And if whatever Jess wants, Jess gets. So let's see if we can make that happen. I'll see you guys soon.